everybody. Welcome to day two of Tacoma to Tundra. And we're here in Richmond, BC, and it's still really nice. 14 degrees, sunny, and where we're going, we actually just saw weather reports. We've got partially covered roads, we've got blowing snow. So while we're here in the nice weather, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this spare tire and put it in the trailer so I don't gotta crawl around under that in the mud and the rocks and the snow. So let's have a look and let's get her done. So I worked at Toyota for a number of years and I did a lot of stuff like this on Tundras and I found it very comforting to flip that front back seat forward and find the exact same tools that I've been using to take spare tires off Tundras for, well, better part of a decade. So three locking bars, find our hole here, and we'll fish it in to the receiver. And now we crank it down. It's coming down now. Yep, that's it. It's coming down. More, a little more, and one more turn just for slack, uh, if you can. I feel like I hit the bottom. Okay, you're there. Yeah, that's the bottom. Oh, there it is. A lot nicer doing this on dry ground than laying in the mud. <laughs> or the snow. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So right now we're down here. We're just here in Richmond, BC, but when we get up here, that's where uh, I think having this guy easily accessible in our trailer is gonna come in handy. Hopefully we don't need it, but if I do, well, it's gonna be right here, just inside the door for me. And now folks, we'll give you your first look inside of our gear trailer, so you can see what we're hauling. We've got, well, a number of different things. We have four jerry cans in case we need gas, two cases of water, wiper fluid, four extra tires, and that's mainly because we switched them out for winter, so we're just hauling these to stay with the truck. That's our recovery bag full of all kinds of straps. That's our toolkit right there that we picked up a Canadian tire. And those are our shop towels for a lot of different things, including unexpected bathroom stops along the way. Uh, and we also do have a trailer spare up there, which is nice. So yeah, we're not hauling a lot of weight, but we definitely wanted to have this space to carry these essentials in case we need them. And you know what, Matt? Hopefully we don't need them. I'm hoping we don't need them. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's go drop the tire on the TRD Pro. We'll get that in here too. And then uh, we're heading to our first dealer visit. So we'll check that out. So after we dropped that tire, we headed over to Open Road Richmond Toyota, where we got to do a nice little dealer meeting. Now, what was cool, especially for the dealers, is that that TRD Pro back there is a pre-production truck. The hybrids are just starting to be built down in Texas. So that one right there is the only hybrid here in Canada. So the dealers are definitely getting a kick out of seeing that truck and being able to show it off. And we had a good time meeting some people and showing it off as well. And then when we left there, we're on our way to Squamish, but we had to stop here in lovely Stanley Park. If you've ever been to Vancouver, you know about Stanley Park. It's absolutely beautiful here. And what better backdrop to shoot these two sharp looking trucks. Okay, folks, we have the first bloodshed of the trip. Somebody had to take it for the team, <laughs> and it was moi. Cameraman Dan climbing in the brambles. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's going to be a good shot, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> And now, folks, another Vancouver icon. We are just heading out of town on the Lions Gate Bridge. We we're, we're following Dad and Eric in the TRD Pro in front of us. And we're back here in the off-road. It's beautiful here. If you folks have never been up here to Vancouver before, absolutely recommend visiting. It's gorgeous. Well, that's enough about the bridge. Uh, the other thing, which you probably already noticed, we've got someone else in the back. That's Danny Bailey, cameraman extraordinaire. He uh, flew in today. He's coming along on the trip, and he's going to get all the beautiful visuals for us. Right, Dan? Thanks for picking me up, boys. Heck yeah. So uh, what I want to do right now is we've already told you guys what the trucks are and how they compare. 
let's talk about how they're actually driving. We just came through some heavy city traffic. We came up from Richmond today, so we've been you know, really in town mostly. But Matt's been doing the driving, so I'll throw to you, Matt. Uh, how's the truck feeling, especially with the trailer behind you? Well, towing this trailer through downtown Vancouver during rush hour a little was a little stressful, <laughs> but I think that's a narrow lane thing, and that might be an Ontario boy complaint. But <laughs> um, overall, pulling up and down those hills, up and over this bridge, through Stanley Park, everything's been great. This thing is certainly not lacking for power. It's never felt gassed out. And now we do have our full load in the trailer at this point. Everybody's gear is back there. All the supplies are back there. It's not struggling to pull it. And really, I mean, you can feel the ride. It's almost smooth smoothened out a little bit with the weight on. That is what I noticed as well, and that's pretty typical for pickup trucks, right? But just, it can't be much tongue weight back there, but just that little bit of tongue weight on your rear end actually, yeah, makes the ride just a hair smoother, uh, which I definitely appreciate. And I think of these two trucks, we've already said this, the off-road is much more the city truck than the Pro. Just because the Pro, you get those kind of roly-poly feeling in the corner, lots of body roll, the nose dives when you brake. This truck doesn't have any of that. And this truck does have Bilstein shocks, so we do have unique shock tuning here as well. But you know what, the the, the Pro is, or sorry, the off-road here, yeah, it's, it's a perfect blend of that off-road and then the city stuff as well. Whereas the TRD Pro is all off-road, all the time. So we're uh, heading up right now to Squamish. That is the next stop on our tour and uh, not too far up the road. Right now, the, the kind of the early days, we're not doing a ton of kilometers. The big days are still ahead of us. We're doing another dealer stop in Squamish where we're gonna meet up at Squamish Toyota and say hi to everybody. And, and then we're gonna start into our kind of big driving days. And that's when we will start reporting back on things like fuel economy and uh, how the two are really compared. Well, folks, as you can see, we have now swapped trucks. I'm here in the back seat of the TRD Pro, and we have another team member you might have noticed. This is auto journalist extraordinaire Eric DeCary from Montreal. He's going to bring a little bit of uh, Francais to our trip, so why don't you say hello to the people there? Hey, bienvenue à tous les amateurs de voitures et de camionnettes de tout uh, gabarit. Alors, en effet, je vais participer à cette uh, expédition, ce road trip qu'on fera vers le nord de la province de la Colombie-Britannique et dans le nord du pays. Et pour cela, je pense que vous allez vous trouver ça très intéressant. Awesome, man. And you know what? I feel extra Canadian on this trip because we are covering all Canadians because we want to bring it to you guys in French. So I'm excited to have Eric along. And then, of course, we got Dad driving. And uh, like I mentioned, we are on Sea to Sky Highway now. We're on our way to Squamish. So, Dad, why don't you tell the folks what you're feeling from the driver's seat? Well, now that you ask me that, Eric and I were talking about this a little bit earlier, is that uh, we had to drive into North Vancouver to pick up Sat Phone. We were down in Richmond um, at the Toyota, Open Road Toyota there. We've been, I've been to the airport twice today to pick up Danny and Eric. And really where I'm feeling today is just how good this hybrid is in town. Um, it's seamless the way it flips from uh, gas to electric. It tries to stay in electric mode as long as it can and with stop and grow traffic you tend to be in electric a lot of the time. So I've been watching the fuel economy and honestly I think that's where this truck is going to shine. Not so much at highway speed where where the engine is running all the time but this in town kind of just goofing around like we were doing today. It, it really was good, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we're going to keep on tracking throughout the trip and we'll give you updates with some real numbers in a couple of days once we have a nice little cross-section of fuel economy numbers to share. Well, folks, that is it for this one. We're coming to the end of day two. We're almost in Squamish. And uh, today was still a pretty soft day kilometers wise, but starting tomorrow and then especially the next day, we got a long way to go in a short time to get there. So please stay tuned to the channel and keep on following our trip. See ya. Au revoir bientôt. And go below and let me know if you want me to keep Steve in the back seat for the rest of the trip. <laughs> no, please don't.